Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing Smothered Rabbit and I was actually going to clean it up before I started the video. But as I started to clean it and started pulling um, stuff like this off, I wanted to show you guys that's never cooked rabbit. This is the type of stuff you want to take off because that's what gives it the, the gamey taste. Is this inner lining, this silver skin. It's, it's like a silver lining and skin on the inside like that you can see that I hope you can see that like that that's what you want to get off because that has a lot to do with wild meat tasting gaming and outdoorish so I just want to show you that so if you ever had one and want to clean it on your own and don't know exactly what to do and I, and also you can prime it in um, salt and water overnight is another way but you still always want to get that off the meat so now um, I'm gonna go ahead on and wash it up and clean it up and get it cleaned up and I'll be back okay so y'all we got our rabbit cut and cleaned up cut all up this is the amount of stuff I was able to get off of it and I know that don't look like a lot but that is a lot of time and a lot of work for such a thin piece of meat with thin skin now there's a few ways you can do this there's a few ways you can do it either you can boil it for a while to tender it up or you can put it in the crock pot for a few hours to tender it up those are things you can do on the front end on the back end you could just go ahead now, season it, fry it, and put it in the oven with gravy or without gravy but a little water and let it, you know, cook low and slow for a few hours because the meat is tough. So, so you got to do something to tenderize this meat. For more experienced people, you can use baking soda, but you got to use it, use it fast, use it quick, and get it off your meat. Because if you let it sit too long, it's going gonna, it's gonna to just completely break down the texture of the meat. And it's not going to even taste like meat at all. So the route we're going to go with it today, we're actually going to go with it in the crock pot. Because I do have a lot of things to do today. So it being in the crock pot for me is going to be the best way for me today. Um, the thing about it, once you take it out the crock pot, if you want to fry, put it in the oven, make a gravy over it. Once you fry it, it's not going to be a pretty meat at that point because now you've boiled it and battered it and seasoned it and fried it. It's just not going to be a pretty meat. But once you put it in the oven with the gravy and do all the, you know, the other next steps, it's going to be a pretty meat and a good meat. So that's the process we're going in with today. So I'm not going to use a lot of seasoning right now. I'm just going to use the um, Creole seasoning. I'm just going to go with my awesome onion and um, garlic powder that I use pretty much for everything and I want to use that just to kind of season the water while you cook in the crock pot so what I'm gonna do now since I got it all together oh this is the thing right here the back is pretty much like any back of any other meat and the neck is just not a whole lot of meat there it, this is good better if you want to try to make a broth or something like that but it's just not a whole lot of meat there but anyway we're gonna use it especially with um, cooking it in the crock pot I'm not sure if I'm gonna fry it or not and make gravy out of it but right now we're definitely gonna use it in the crock pot so I'm gonna go ahead and season it up with these seasonings and get it in the cro get the crock pot set up and all that and show you where we at okay we got it all in the crock pot now Basically, we're just going to pour the water in, go ahead and get it started. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this on high for um, three hours and then we're going to come back. Okay, we're back. We're going to go ahead and check on the rabbit. It's been in the crock pot for approximately three hours. I'm going to grab a piece out. Take a good piece. 
Oh yeah, it's good until it's breaking off. See it? So basically, I was gonna fry it and um, then put it in the oven, but due to it so tender, I'm just gonna go ahead and re-season it, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and put it in the oven and just get the gravy going. Okay, you guys, here's our finishing product. We have the gravy going on, and we're going to just eat it with some gravy and um, rice. So let me know what you think, and um, like, comment, su subscribe. Please come back, and when you do come back, please, it would be greatly appreciated if you would stay during the duration of the videos. It would greatly help the channel. Thank you. I hope that you like the recipes that you're trying, and we'll have another video coming up soon.